Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and I'm here on the GTI server in Alpha 7. Uh, oh god, what episode is this? 9? 9 or 10? Maybe it's 10. I can't remember. Oh. Hang on, let me check, let me check. It is episode, it is episode 10. 10? No, nine. Episode nine. <laughs> okay. Ah, <sighs> yeah, age, it's a wonderful thing. Okay, so, uh, today, Today, you notice that we're still out in space on Ningas. Well, what I did, I took the I took the airtight SV around, uh, the 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 basic warp capable SV, and as cheap as it is, and all that is great, and and all that sort of stuff. But unfortunately, it doesn't fly worth. A crap um, it doesn't stop at all it was really clunky I, I went to the planet and as I, I had to fight a bit of drones with it and I, it was it was difficult to, um, to to fly it wouldn't I couldn't like <laughs> I couldn't stop very fast I can couldn't move side Louise fast it's not meant for combat at all and Frankly, it just, it was a little too small. It needed passenger seats. Uh, it didn't have the open box top concept. And it was all, it was all squished into a, to an area where I couldn't really expand much with. So I decided to rebuild it from scratch. And what I did is I just multi-tooled it down to blocks. So I took all the blocks, but I'm not going to use the um thrusters again so i've still got all those thrusters but what i did do is i built some new bigger better thrusters so and some more rca like it's just more it's more and i've got them all on me now so what do i got i made 36 of the thruster jets um Four more Gatling guns to equal up to six. Uh, four rocket launchers, because it didn't have any before. Uh, I made an extra couple fuel tanks, some more RCSs, uh, another cargo block. The rest of this was all multi-tooled out of it. Uh, a couple more O2 tanks. It only had one small one. Um, another ammo box. And two more generators because the thrusters are going to be at 90 a piece, 90 kilowatt. Each one of those puts out, you know, so, so 30, 20 of them will take up a whole generator. Uh, I mean, 36 of them will pretty much take up two whole generators and that just leaves one more generator for all the rest of the stuff so it's still my i still might need another generator i'll see if it starts going into the yellow and red while i'm flying then i'm gonna have to put another generator in but hopefully not so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna build a sv today so what i want to do is i want to level off so even if i'm facing the wrong way it should all just level me off and what I'm going to do is, the, the reason I like to build at level, it's just, I don't know. It shouldn't really matter for a base, absolutely, absolutely make sure it's level. But a vehicle, I mean, not that big of a deal. So you can see I can build a starter block out in space. I don't need to actually spawn it anywhere. It's only your factory that you got to spawn stuff on a base. So if you're building it from scratch, you can build it out in the wilderness. And again, see how it actually doesn't care 
if I'm level or not, it's only going to place it level anyway. So that's very interesting, isn't it? So we'll go ahead and we'll just place it there. It doesn't really matter. And it's the direction that my character is facing. And you can see they actually put a V on it. So they know, so you know which direction it faces now. Okay, so let's just add a bunch of extra blocks to this now. And I might, ha I might have to build some more blocks. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, oh, let's. Come on. Come on. No. Let's pull that back quite a bit. It's going to need more than that anyway. Okay. Yeah, we'll pull. No. So, probably going to have to be at least that long minimum. Come on. Thank you. And because it's an SV, it will get shot from the bottom. Uh, therefore, what I will do is I'm going to cover the whole thing again, doubling up on the thickness of the bottom. It's, get, it's basically going to be double thickness all the way. And then once I get some Sathium, I can, I can actually upgrade it to uh, hardened steel. Okay. So, <clears throat> hmm. let's, I need to pop the core out and put it, um, so three, four, five, and then No, that's not going to fit, so I got to do got to do it out more. Okay. That's fine. No. This way. Yes, come on down. Down. Forward. Forward. Come on down. Thank you. Okay. And then, so do I want the core right where that block is or on top of it or behind it? What if I should put it there? Yeah, that'll be fine there with the, yeah, cause it'll, it'll have to shoot down through. So let's do that. We're gonna pop the core out right now. I don't like the location of it. Why does everything jiggle now? What do you mean cannot pick up? Oh, right, cause it's the core. It doesn't, you can't actually pop the core out all on itself all by itself, it'll come out in pieces. So we'll pop a new core in. We'll fill that with a block. Okay. And these are gonna have blocks here and here and here and here. So basically we're gonna build our box It'll be a flying box style. It won't look like a box when we're done. It's just the inside cockpit will be a box with the hatch top. Okay. And then, 
So let's get the cockpit in. And we're going to do an open cockpit style. So we want either that one or that one. They both have 700 hit points. They're both one by three by threes. This one looks more luxurious. This one looks more industrial. Let's go with the luxurious ride, right? Right? Yeah. We want the luxurious one. So we want one space open behind us. So that'll plunk this right here. Okay. And then we fill this up. Oh, so it did actually drop some stuff. Okay, that's fine. So if you're if you're using your drone and your inventory goes full, it actually drops it in front of your character. Come on. Come on. Really? Ugh. Okay, whatever. Okay. So we've got our box. Our basic box. And that's going to have to go higher. Uh, but what I want to do now is I want to start tapering this thing. So... It's going to be like, like this. Yeah. And we're probably going to pull this right across. Whoa. What? Really? <laughs> Come on. Sometimes... Sometimes the tools are a little glitchy, like it just, it just places it in a bizarro spot. Okay, so let's try this again. Nope, it's not going to do it. Look at that, it won't do it. That doesn't make any sense. What's it doing? Come on. Try this one more time. There. What? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Let's pull that along. Flip that around. Get that across here. Come on. I could be using the symmetry axis, but I tend to. I tend to multi-tool a lot of stuff off. I I tend to like change it after I've done it quite a bit, so it just. The multi-tool um, because I'm multi-tooling it all the time it just it just kind of screws it up if I have the axis on okay okay So we're going to get some gear in here. Close that in. Okay, so we also want to start kicking this out and tapering it in at the front. So we go like this, and we go like this. I can always put windows in later. Oh, come on. Stop the dirt. There we go. Hmm. Two, 
three, yeah. Okay, so we'll spin that, bring that down. Come on, we'll stop that. Bring that down. And then, same thing. Bring that down. No, not like that, there we go. Bring that down. And we'll continue to taper that. And that's got to go there and then like that. Like that. And like that. And then, and then what I do is I multi-tool all the blocks out that I need for weaponry and stuff like that. Okay, so we have a, we'll just fill this. I do want a decent bulkhead to not get shot through. Stop it. Okay, and we'll continue that. This is one of the aspects of the game that I actually feel quite relaxed and, and you know, doing out in, out in space too is actually really nice, especially I'm, I'm like 10,000 kilometers from the planet. Nobody's, nobody's coming out here. Nobody's, no critters are going to show up to kill me. The drones aren't coming out this far. It's, it's pretty safe. I guess another player could show up and kill me. Okay, so this is all just going to taper right in with these. And then like that. And then. That's a corner. I could do that. I think I'll do this. And then... <laughs> yeah, it's ugly as hell right now, I know. Okay, so that's the the bulkhead at the front let's um let's get some equipment in here so we're gonna need these fuel tanks and these generators I wonder if I should just put this short I should put the warp in right away too probably that's probably a good idea that in okay so let's let's stand up or well I could fill the bottom then put the warp okay so let's try this we're gonna put this here we're gonna put this here we're gonna hmm. you know what Maybe I will stand these up just because I got the core there. I want it to. I want it to all fit. Um, here, let's do this. Put that there. We'll put that there. And then we'll lay this down like that. And then we're gonna lay the others down like that. And come on. That bit of a bit of a video glitch there going on, and then that and that, and then we can put the other fuel tank in. So the warp drive fuel tank. We'll put um, some of the O2. We'll put an O2 in. 
here and then we'll fill all this up too. We've got our CSs to put in, so let's get that in, that in. We'll do uh let's get these RCs, RCSs. Okay, so that's four. Let's see. Let's see. So we need to extend this out further. Okay. That's fine. Yep, yeah, it's working. Okay. So now we need to put uh well let's just put some more blocks in now and damn I use that many already well obviously i gotta make some more obviously i gotta make more like a lot more so like 200 or not a 10 200 more. Okay. Okay, we'll let those spin up while we put what we got on. Okay, so let's do... Taper here. Put out two more. I think I need to come past out oh, past it a little bit more to fit everything. Okay. So let's fill that in. We'll just use blocks for now. Just regular blocks. I can always pop some out to contour it later if I need to, if I feel inclined to. Come on. And right there, okay. Okay, so what else have we put in there? We've got more RCSs, so let's get these in here. And then we've got our mobile constructor, the armor locker, cargo box, ammo. Okay, so let's get this cargo box. I want it to be the large, large one. So, but let's get the ammo in first. There's just like that and like that. We'll put a big one there. Uh, okay, good. I think we need more cargo. I have one here, yes, good. Uh, what else do I have for an SV in here? Right here, armored window blocks. We've got some pot lights. Oh, hatch. Okay, good. That's it. I don't want to use that passenger seat in the clothes style. Oh, uh, landing gear. Mm, looks like it. Okay. So we'll put the constructor in. And we can do the armor 
door locker. We'll do the um, the O2 dispenser. We've got some fridges and more cargo to put in. So let's do that. Okay. So we want the cargo. <clears throat> okay, so I, I kind of want to build another fridge too. I kind of like two, but I'll put one on the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two large ones. So I'm going to do, come on, there. And then I'm going to put one there. And then I'll put, come on, there. Okay. So let's take a look to see what it's got, what it's missing. So it's got the armor locker. It's got, <clears throat> now let's just quickly group it. So it's got uh, two ammo boxes it's got the three large cargo boxes cockpit and constructor the core it's got the armor locker it's got one fridge four fuel tanks three generators ota station 302 tanks six rcs um, the warp engine and short range warp tanks so we need thrusters And then we can put the pot lights in and weaponry after. So we now need to start putting in thrusters. Hmm. I don't want it sticking out too much past here. So I think what I'm going to do is everything is going to go on the outside. Oh, looks like I'm starving to death. Or about to. So we'll just put this ratatouille. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Put these blocks down here. And we must have put in a shutter door right now. Or, well, we're doing that right now. Can we do it right now? I guess we can. That's a four by three. So, where do I want that? Which way do I want it? Do I want it? Open that way or open the other way? I think the other way, because I'm going to have. So if I go like, oops, I had it the right axis. So if I go like that, and yeah, right like that. There we go. Okay. So that's sealed. Uh, okay. So now, what's next? We put, we put thrusters on. So I want to put six in every direction. Since there's six directions, that's 36 of them. Now I want the, let's put the back ones in first. Um, yeah, cause I'm gonna skin that. So I'm gonna need So it's going to be three on each side. So one, two, three. So if I go one, two, three. Okay. That'll be okay. So one, two, three. Okay, that gives us six to the back. And then we want six to the front. So, let's 
move back one because we're going to taper that in. So one, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay, so now we need three on each side going up. So, or well down too, so we can do one, two, and three, and then we'll flip this and go one, two, and three. So that'll give us our three up, three down on each side. So let's do that. Uh, now, which ones did I have in, I want them to, so let's down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Oh, wait, did I totally screw that up? I guess it just doesn't matter, does it? If I, yeah, I'll just keep them all lined up. I'll go move the other ones. There, that looks better. All lined up, okay. So let's adjust that, because that looks stupid. <laughs> okay, not sure why I did that. And the other reason I'm going with these thrusters is they do have a little bit more hit points and a lot more thrust. Obviously, a lot more thrust is the key component there. Okay. So, come on. And three down. Okay. So that gives our up, down, backwards, forwards. Now we need six to either side. And this is where it gets a little gnarly. So this, let's see, we need to. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight in a line back so we're gonna do one two come on three four come on come on I know you want to go there five and six okay so that's starting one block from the back, okay. So it'll be one, two, come on, stop it, come on, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so there's all the thrusters. Technically, this thing should be um, flyable. It should be flyable. We don't have a ventilator in there, but I could probably fly this thing right now if I wanted to. So now we got to skin it up and put the interior stuff in. And I think what I should do is paint it first, right? Now I 
I think my core paint job. Hmm. What should I do? I really like the I like the HVs paint job. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the apply the whole block medium and just paint the whole thing black right now. Just totally saturate it with black and just with green highlights. We're just going to make everything black. Okay, why isn't it going under? It said that it was it was medium. Why doesn't it? I don't get that. Come on, really? <sighs> okay, let's. Uh... Did have it applied a whole block yet? Yeah. Okay, so this should bleed through. Come on, come on, come on. Eh. Are you not gonna let me paint underneath? Ah, poopy. I shouldn't have put that in. get this painted here anyway I can always pop that off I guess later but it's hard to get those well we shouldn't we won't see any of that I don't think anyway so okay okay so now what we're gonna need to do is keep putting blocks on this thing so I think what I want to do is I want to make some sort of wing, I think. Come on, really? Come on, I want to just... Wow, why, why, there, right there, okay. So I'm thinking if I do a angle like this and just derp because that's the wrong way of twisting it okay go like that and then maybe keep coming out with that and then level off right there yeah that's that might work that might work so let's see we'll um It's gonna work. Maybe. Kind of gives it a little bit of an appearance of a wing happening. And I can, I guess I could cover that up if I want to. I'm not sure if I want to though. I'm not sure if I want to. Okay, and then hmm, I want to actually I want I do want to cover that stuff up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin Oops, I had it there. Right like that. I think I just want to come right across. Right across to like there no one back because that's already starting to taper there okay and then and then again like that yeah 
Okay. So let's flip. Now, did I come all the way back? I did. Okay. So let's flip that. And we stretch all the way across to there. Oh, I guess we could have come one more to there. And then again, and we drag that all the way across to, oh, ran out of blocks, okay. Okay, I know it's, I'm leaving those side engines really exposed it seems, but I'm gonna do something with that. I'm gonna, I've got a plan, I've got a plan. Don't worry, I've got a plan. Okay, so, need more blocks. How you doing, builder? Good, good. And ventilator, yeah, I'll take that. And the passenger seats. We're gonna need another fridge. And, did I bury the O2 station? That should be in the cockpit. Uh, where? Oh, where is the little fridge? There it is. Did I actually put one on there? Did I, did I bury it like a derp? Because that would be awfully foolish. No, I didn't bury it. Okay, so it's in the back. Uh, I want another one in the in, on the inside though. I do. So let's make another one. HV, grab that. So the ventilator, that, that, that will prevent. Okay, so that'll, mm, I'm not sure if that's going to fit. We could do, oh, I know what we could do. We could do like a couple of cargo boxes. Okay, so let's see. I don't need those anymore. We're gonna put those on still. We've got to keep skinning it, so let's do that. And I'm probably gonna need more blocks. We'll see. If it gets, if it starts getting close, I'll, I'll uh, put more blocks up. Okay, so those come across, straight across, like that, and then angling up. So he did, or I did this, and I'm just gonna spin it. And we'll get that across there, and that across to there. And that does come further, doesn't it? Yeah, quite a bit. So just so right to is it one block showing? One block showing. Okay. Okay. And we'll pull that across. Come on. Okay. And the, oh wait, do we? Did I? Yep. Okay, and then that gets angled directly like this. And then it's blocks. And then we have My eyes are getting tired. Oof. Um, wow. Okay. And cube. And again, another cube and an angle block or slope. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Hmm. Starting to run out of time here. Let's. I can put. Is it this one? Is it this one? No, I need to go like like that, and then like that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, and then the bottom, same thing. So it needs to be rotated like that. Okay. Okay. And then it's slopes. Pull that across to there. And we do that again. Okay. And so that is a, that's just a regular slope. Okay. But then this one is the, is this one? Yep. And that one. Okay. And then I'm still going to put guns in here too. It's okay, it's okay. Just let me skin it and then I'll worry about the guns. So we want like this. Okay. Okay, okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. So I need to seal all that in, okay. Okay, so that is gonna go like, oops, no, just get back there like that, and then that one goes like that, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then this one is a corner piece. So it will go like, come on, stop it. Spin that like that. And same with this side. Like that. And then we've got a slope. Like that. And slopes. this and then we've got our <clears throat> corner piece hmm. like that and like that Okay, and then yeah, 
And then here, what I want to do is I want to skin this over with, okay, so those are 25, those are 50. And that's 50. Okay, so full blocks are 50. So that's considered a full block, ramp bottom. Okay, and that's 25. Hmm. 50. Hmm. 50. That might be bizarre. That's 50. Hmm. Let's just... Go with the ramp, <clears throat> the ramp bottom. And I think we're just gonna go like this. And same with here. Let's pull that across. Is it some sort of funky, interesting look, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. And the rest just flat. I mean, I could do flat there. I could do like... going to look like let's see let's see this might look totally stupid and come on That's interesting. That's really interesting. I can make some sort of... I don't know what we need to do there. Maybe there we just... Maybe there we come down with the taper. Yeah. So we start coming in right there, I guess, or no, it's a wing. We don't need to come in. Okay, so let's just replace that. I think I want to leave that because I think I, what I want to do is do this. That's what we want to do. Yeah. Huh. That's kind of trippy. I need to add that to that. So should I flip that in reverse too? No, that's just bizarre going in reverse that direction. Yeah. Okay, so let's put those on here. How's that looking? Looks kind of trippy, really. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. So we need to decorate this. All I need to have is a bit of the O2 showing. So let's... level off so I can 
look down on this easier. And hmm. I'm not sure if we go for the full block or or something like um well, it's it's worth it's worth the max amount so it's okay this this type of block is worth the maximum amount of hit points so come on okay now should i just pull that across and go like this Yes, I should. <laughs> it's not pretty. I didn't say it was going to be pretty, though. So I've got to put the weapons in there, too. Hmm. Okay. So that is all just these hold across okay so let's do that and then it was tapered down on the other side so let's do that okay and then we had this like oops like that and Again, oops, no, come on, what's going on? There we go, that and that, and then that gets flipped, and that'll go all the way across. And does it actually go, yep, like that, yep, it does, okay. So, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's definitely seaworthy but right now, but, or space worthy, I guess. Uh, I could always put the RCS in and Go test it out but at this point the build is is getting really close to being done and I think what I want to do is I'm just gonna finish covering this with with the thinner block style and um, paint it up put the put the stuff in here there's a fridge some cargo boxes the o2 um the ventilator stuff like that speaking of i can put the ventilator i should put that in right now that way this thing is actually by putting that in right now it is now capable of sustaining life in zero atmosphere Okay, so how big is that thing? So I need to put landing gear on it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to finish this off off camera, paint it up, and go take it for a test flight. We are now out of time. So this will be another funky build that is gonna look bizarre but I bet you it's gonna handle really freaking good I just have a I have a good feeling about this I have some good feels I have some really good feels so I'm gonna do all that off camera and get this finished up
so that we can start using it and that'll be awesome that'll be our box top sv warp capable with uh way better combat and then i'll find some sath and all the outside blocks are going to get hardened so it's going to be it'll be a combat vehicle we can take on pois with it because we don't currently have something that we can take on pois at all with so this is going to be our initial poi buster and then this is going to be our poi looter so what i what i like to do is i take a sv out and i smash the pois turrets and then i jump him fly back grab an hv and go loot the the uh poi so there you go have it we have this sv almost completed and it really didn't take that long i multi-tooled most of the blocks were like taken out of the other sv so i didn't really have to build a lot either and uh there you have it we'll paint this up we'll finish it up and i'll post it on to the workshop as uh i don't know i don't know what i should call it let's um i don't know <laughs> We'll see, I'll, I'll see, I'll, I'll come up with something. But in the meantime, guys, if you like this episode, like and subscribe, and you guys have yourselves an awesome day.